Welcome back to Kirby's Adventure for Nintendo. If you've been wondering, yes, I'm going to go back through the game and get all the uh, second exits from these blinky doors. Yes, I said blinky doors. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through the game regularly, like casually, and then I'll start over and go through, back through level one, through the end of the game, um, finding the, the second exits. Because some of these exits are not as thorough as you think. There's a little bit of puzzle-inducing uh, madness that happens midway through the game. And, and some of them are pretty you know, clear-cut, but there's a, it, it, it makes a replay value that much uh, greater for this game. So, without further ado, let's get it. I kind of remember this, where you have to use angles. And that's interesting to me, to use geometrics to, like, uh, hit your enemies. That's so wild. And they teach you that too. Like you, ha it showed you the laser, so you could get it to use it here. It's pretty nifty. Come on, we got it. Now it also wants wants you to pick one of those. So you can either get a straight fire, um, or you can get the spark. But you can also use a laser. This fucking ice, man. You. I don't need that. Fuck. Animation kept fucking me up. Ooh, secrets. Secrets for no reason. <laughs> Boy, you can slide. I like how it gives you freedom, above all, to make the choice on your own of how you want to go through this game. There's never true... There's never one true way of doing this. Or you can cheese it and just fly over the whole entire damn level. That only works in so many so many places. The whole thing. That second door that you saw towards the end I could have taken that, but I don't know. I don't know yet how I was supposed to. So that's another uh, another episode, pretty much. Mini boss, great. Laser is OP sometimes. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's a boss rush. Oh, fuck, dude. I forgot about this. We got this. Wow. This laser is OP. This guy's a true tech animal here. That dude will grab me and throw me. Wow, dude! You seeing this? Oh, this bitch. First challenge so far. <laughs> That's not a bad opponent either. That one's a real opponent. Damn, 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 damn! Go up, go up, go up, go up! Nice save, nice save. Is there anything else in here? No, nope, it's just that. Okay. Always have to explore. I always have to explore. I remember this. Hey, sweet. Second. Now see, that one only had one exit. Just using as an as an example the difference between uh, the regular ones and the ones with multiple exits. Nice, perfect. I'm on a roll. This is a pretty cool, cool weapon, too. Good for short range. I tend to favor his uh, blow-up ability in flying more than anything else. Because I feel like his jumpiness regularly is kind of jumpy. Not it's very airy. Like you can change direction in midair, but it's not it's not as lucrative as a regular jump. 
It's not as lucrative as a um, him flying, is what I mean. Fucking close, dude. Yeah, fuck you. Haha, <laughs> yep, had the same idea. Think of a different strategy. Can't stick with the one. Okay. Relatively easy. I still don't like the tornado. I really don't. Or twister, whatever. Oh, fucking bollocks, dude. Of course, I talk shit about it and then it, like, discredits me. <laughs> Karma. the smartest idea. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> See, the twister is good until it's not. Damn it. I wanted that. safer. There we go. There's like an obvious choice with certain areas. And that wasn't the obvious choice. There's an obvious choice of what to use and what not to use for uh, most of these I hate those things. Jeez, no. Three in a row, fuck. Four in a row, fuck off. Another reason why this is a prime way of traveling is just fly through them. There we go. 
<laughs> okay. Let me let me explain to you my my reasoning for that was because I thought I had to use it to keep going straight because of the air. Because some is going up, some is going down. That's all. I'm not justifying it, just saying that was the the mode there. <laughs> Okay, now you're just taking the piss, man. I've also realized I haven't been save stating. some bullshit. I call bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit on that whole entire fucking section. Alright, where does this lead first? I guess it doesn't matter. That is not one of those times to do that. To inhale shit. Let him go. I'm just not going to. Fuck this. <laughs> so that's where the second exit is. Yes! I desperately needed that. Ah, the black and white version. Technically, the Game Boy version of this. So close of going, going from air to ocean. I 
anything? Nothing. Putting in some work today, boy. Come on, I hit the fucking button, dude. Lame as shit. Is there anything down here? No. You know, I should have known. I should have known from talking about it in a previous episode that there's practically no secrets. Ashamed. Ashamed. And I'll end this here. This should be King DDD and the final boss run uh, of this game. So I'm going to save that for last. As well as I'll go back through the game and find some um, alternate routes and alternate endings for the 100% completion. And yes, there will be a completion at the end of this game. Because it tallies up um, what you've unlocked and what you've done. So... Um, till then, peace.